Okay, it's Weenie Wheels Wednesday. I have a few pickups from this past week. There's a, a new case. Walmart's got these bins, and uh, I think it was on Saturday some old guy told me. Oh, he's probably younger than I am. Uh, <laughs> some guy at the at Walmart, was, was he was telling me that he picked up all kinds of... They're only old guys collecting these toys. But I think I asked him, I have no idea what this case is, because uh, Canada has been getting things so sporadically since the pandemic. And this is uh, F, I believe he said, but uh, don't take my word for it. And uh, that is very sad, because I have not um, been seeing a lot of cases. But also, I'm trying to minimize and trying to really tone down my collection and th that is something we're going to be reflecting on today, the end of last year, the beginning of this year, and putting the things together that I like and what I want to keep and what I regret getting. These ones that I bought, I guess, was it yesterday or the day before? I don't regret buying these. So I carefully chose these. I even got doubles. I mean, I got doubles of this because it's probably the nicest car that ever existed in life. I thought, um, I always thought since I was a kid that a Jaguar would be probably what I would want. A black one, simple, nice, but retro and cool. However, this thing, this Aston Martin, 1963, I tend to really like the, uh, the movie the screen time ones that they put out and we'll see that in a few seconds when i get into the cases that i have i do often am drawn to the movie ones because they are special cars and this is a beauty and i guess i had to buy two of them and i probably shouldn't i probably just should buy one and uh like this one i did buy one this is a chevy uh what is that 57 chevy and uh, I collect this deco. I really like this black and white. It is kind of a minimalist thing. And uh, this is this is a beauty old car, but the deco is more plain, despite it not being plain, just because it is monochrome. That makes it really, really cool. And then anytime they do these letter cars, I like them. And I do tend to gravitate towards the art cars and the experimoters the most or something super realistic. So we did really uh, zone in on what I like. Oh, and there's one other thing, and I found at, where was this, at uh, the tr 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 Dollar Tree. It was a chase, and I've got a few of these, but if I was going to choose a chase, this is, I mean, it's almost vintage enough. It's 95. It would be better if it was an 80, but it is a Jeep Cherokee. I love anything Jeep. -y. It's got, it's that beige, it's a beige color, which I like neutral, and the fall colors, and then I also have always loved the mud studs. At least I have collected full collections of those before and been very happy with them because they're just rugged vehicles a lot being jeeps and or jeepy like cars and uh this is my jam the colors uh the mud the it's a jeep it's just it's just coolness so oh yeah and have i talked about these so this is the second deco of this one from the experimotors i do collect every um mega car that they make and uh, so far I do have them all as far as I know at least the ones that have come to Canada um, like there might be some new redecos of a van which whatever I did with I don't know it's probably in one of these boxes let's take a look at some of the other stuff that I have and will we open some of this stuff I guess not I always promise that so here I guess I would have shown these things in the last upcoming video. This is also a treasure hunt, and it is, again, it's got all my colors translucent also. That is something that I um, am drawn to and love. Man, if they made a tr translucent mega car that was retro and monochrome, I would totally, and, and, and also a Jeep. G. Wilger, actually, they have made Jeepy ones. Um, anyway, this treasure hunt, which says treasure hunt on it, is so cool. This Volkswagen is cool. They are a redeco of the Monster High one. We need to revisit that. I don't know when I opened that one last. I do have a few of those things here. 
I probably should just pop this one open. I was good and I didn't buy a double of this, but maybe I will. But you can see they redecoed it. I have a bin full of Mattel themed cars. And then I have the ones that I opened during advent calendar time during Christmas. And there are a couple that I want to pull out right now and show you. But that is a redeco of that. I should just pop this open and open it now. But we get a lot going on. We'll save the openings for next week. But here is the example of these letter cars. And uh, these black and white from the art car department. I'm assuming they will do exactly the same thing and uh, reissue the 57 Chevy um, with in white like they did with this van. But I mean, they're just cool, cool, cool monochrome cars. Scale. Scale really bothers me sometimes, especially when they do vans that are not the same scale as the cars. All right. I guess you can't really do that, can you? When you're hot wheels and what else do i got going on here so oh yeah so in my last video i did show that i definitely am drawn to orange again that's kind of that's kind of what's going on here and i guess more so here well maybe not but i mean i love the combination of the silver and the orange and apparently there were a lot of oranges in whatever case that was thought that was case A, but maybe it wasn't. And then another one of these treasure hunts. This seems to be a very popular, the J case is where this one came from. And it seems to be a very, very popular case for Canada. It's like all the stories just got the J case of last year. And that's all we got. Okay, and then here we go. So I do have to split this stuff up. So these are the Barbie um, screen time again. It's a Chevrolet and 1956. So they redecoed it a few times, I guess, from the Barbie movie. I'm going to, uh, is that one in here? That one should be in the Mattel box. But instead, I have it in my Christmas time. I guess I opened it up during Christmas time. But yeah, that I believe are the three colors that they've issued of this since the Barbie movie. I think it is an older model that they had before. Does it say on it? If it is 2022, no, it seems, I don't know, was that enough time for them to recreate this? No, they must have had made that a little bit before the movie came out and not necessarily for the movie. So those are two more that I must open. We're going to find this other one. I have this one in another color. I have this one in another color. We have to find that today. And, and uh, I, a blueprint cars. I have to put that with the blueprint cars and we have to open up all of the ones that I have. And then I have to get a picture on Instagram of the Matchbox ones that I have so I don't reduplicate it. But here are some. I showed them more in the last video. I'm loving these special silver card cars that they're putting out for the 70th anniversary. I think we moved out of the 70th anniversary. I'm not sure if this one is after, if this is for 71 years. And we've gone beyond and back again because it doesn't say the 70 on it anymore. And then the special, again, you can see me gloat about this in the last video I did about this Indiana Jones coolness that they just throw in the case. Okay, so that's the, the newest, newest treasure hunts. Let's see, let's match some of these up. So screen time, these are all doubles for me. I guess they redecoed some of them, but I have all of these. I shouldn't have probably bought them again, but they're screen time favorites. Beatles, um, what do I call that thing? Land Speeder, and uh, this Snoopy 
car screen time coolness let me put that with my extra barbies i have to remember to do that check out all of these gp cars we got a toyota land cruiser and a nissan patrol uh they all look the same they're all cool they all would do the deco is amazing and um yeah i'd, I'd be happy with any of those in real life um beautiful i think i like the patrol the best but i have had to choose i probably would like uh the jeep the best because it is the most utilitarian even though they are very very similar vehicles But I think I have to put treasure hunts in a separate case. They have to go somewhere else. Jeeps will go somewhere else. Maybe I'll just have to open. Okay, here we are. More Jeeps going on here. Um, ones that I've had before. Uh, I prefer no deco again. The white one looks really great, this Hummer. And uh, that was one that I just showed you, was it not? Yes. So, same year same number number three of ten of the hot trucks and uh e e simple solid color cars oh that's another thing that i am always i think i probably mentioned that when i talked about uh, the silver james bond one wait was it 007 goldfinger yeah those are nice so i don't know i don't know what happens what happens to those this i probably shouldn't have bought but it is a solid color convertible and it's vintage um the blue windshield i think looks kind of silly and the chrome seats look kind of silly but it is a nice vintage car it's a stingray it's convertible it's from 72 it's factory fresh it does make sense that i bought that utilitarian uh something else that i like it seems it seems that uh my likes aren't as simple as i think they are because utilitarian i mean it does fall under the jeep category in my books but it's a volkswagen t2 pickup um that's one that i had before i don't have anything else like this the deco on it is amazing again we've got that silver and orange kind of thing going on this is in a class all its own um well utilitarian i will put it with the jeeps yeah, yeah. it seems i found another one of these which i mean it's a treasure hunt so i mean it's hard for me not to buy a treasure hunt that i like um these two look almost identical it's an 88 wagoneer so of course gp 80s um, in almost solid colors but gray and black nice basic colors this is a beautiful car i would prefer um the beige deco though really oddly enough okay here's a regret um not happy i shouldn't have bought that but it's it is a really cool truck says hot wheels on it um they do tend to put out series like this that are all in the the orange deco i mean to go with the hot wheels colors um or they choose a deco for the year and they do that i'm not sure if that's what this series is all i know is this one looks pretty darn sweet with the hot wheels scrolled across it i mean all-terrain kind of gp truck Oh, I probably shouldn't have bought it. This one, again, very much like that Volkswagen. I think I showed you that I have this in another color, though. Where is that? That's got to be around here somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I haven't pulled it out of this box yet. Maybe it is in here. I know I have this in another deco. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to find that before. Oh, here it is. I did show you this so i bought this one because i love the the jeep truck so much right and then 
Um, and then I kind of regret it because it was in blue and I don't really like blue cars, but it is a solid color car. And again, really hard for me not to buy a solid color car, a classic car. And also, look, it's a, it's a 57. Um, it's beautiful. And then this came out and then I passed it by, I passed it up. I didn't buy it and I was like, what is going on? Why would I buy this one and not buy this one? I was trying to be good. In, in the new year and that's when I found this one again but come on this is this these are my colors again those 70s beige and just like you know just like my favorite Jeep so of course if I had this one already I had to get this one and uh, they match and looking at them both I don't even mind the the blue deco right now it's beautiful and something else I'm noticing they're not from the same series it's not just a redeco it is a completely different series from a completely different year I have to check to see if they redecoed any of these um, in these sub series but I mean hmm I probably if I if I had to choose which one I would I would buy and drive around I would I would drive this around I, I wouldn't care think about all of the stuff you could store and carry oh man speaking of which did they switch that up I can't see no 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 it's got the the same stuff in the back of the trunk they got the spare tire and God knows what else is back there is that a chair is that a seat I don't know. I've, I don't think I've ever seen one of those in real life. Um, 57 Jeep, do you think it would hold up? Do you think it would still work today? Okay, screen time. I showed you already the uh, Monster High ones. This is an extra one, so I'm going to stick that with my extra screen. I have an extra screen time box. Again, a Knight Rider one. To, uh, I don't think I got doubles of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that in my screen time. This would be an extra candy from the Barbie movie, and I did open this one up. Uh, this might have a redeco that I don't have. I'm gonna have to look into that. I'll stick that over. We'll do. We'll have to do a, a Barbie um, video where we look back at all of the Barbie cars that I have and stuff. But this one, this extra one, which I probably shouldn't have, will go into the screen time box that I have. Another Barbie extra, extra. I mean, it's called Barbie extra, but we have opened up all of those already. They must be in this bin of Mattel-based cars where you'll see some other Mattel cars and it's, it's got to be in there. I know that I opened up that. Oh yeah. There's one of the redec redecos of it right there. Oh. So this one has got to be an extra. See, there is a theme here to the cars that I buy. Um, speaking of which, solid color, just blacks are some of these screen times. This, um, this 89 Mercedes come on um, it's a new sculpt it, it does remind me very much of uh, the Goldfinger one that I got I mean just because it's silver and old and classic and it's not as old as the Aston Martin but I don't, I don't, I wonder what would happen if I had exuberant amounts of money. Would I have a garage filled with these things? Um, most of them would be like trucks and Jeeps. Uh, this one, this is a regret. It's too new. Definitely too new. It's just the solid black got me in the moment. But it is cool that I got this um, Mercedes in two different colors. It's the same one. And uh, that's, there's no regret here for that there's a regret here I shouldn't have bought this I'm gonna put that in I'm gonna put that with this one two two really cool cars that I regret buying I mean they weren't necessary here we go here is the mega cars we are adding to the collection this one is a different subset they're putting this one in Hot Wheels Metro 
which is weird because normally because it is a brick car, a mega car, which comes apart and you can see it tells you what happens when there's special features. They will put it up in the corner back here and uh, yeah, see on a regular one, no special feature, nothing to highlight. But, so this year they did not make a special mega collection, which they did last year. I was really excited about They had their own collection. They made 10 cars, um, five different cars, two different decos each. Uh, this time we have putting them in subsets, but where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on. Oh, here it is. So I was happy to see a new deco. And whoa, whoa, whoa. For these, I have one to open. This is a very dark blue, it seems. Or maybe it's black. It looks blue on the card, but I don't know. I don't know if that's black or blue. We have to open those up. I was uh, planning on opening these this time. Uh, it looks like we've got lots of Weenie Wheels Wednesday videos coming in the future because I think it's time just to open up these. I'm not sure if they will be redoing this. This is from last year. I'm not even sure. Oh, 250, 250. Um, you can kind of tell by if the card changes. They changed it up for the new year. And uh, they seem to be from the same year. Because you can see the white up here in the swoosh. So I think these are all this year. I'm going to have to look online and see if they are reissuing this in a different deco. My guess would be that they are. They tend to do it with the mega cars. I think they like to get the most for their money because it, they probably cost more to make because they are so many different separate parts. Uh, I love these. This is, this is my favorite faction to collect is the mega the megas and i think this is the latest three and i hopefully i have everything so updated video on that coming soon more screen time Fast and the Furious, every Fast and the Furious car I've ever seen put out by Hot Wheels has been incredible, and that is no mistake. Again, it's done in silver. Um, did I mention, when I was talking about the silver ones, I didn't mention this this time, um, it's like an unfinished nickel car, and anything that looks like that it's unpainted is also something that I have to get. Look, a good colored windshield on this kind of ultra modern. It's a Corvette Grand um, Sport Roadster. It is beautiful. Screen time seems to be a theme. I did not open that. It is, oh, it doesn't have the white part here. So it must be from last year, but I love it. Okay, and then what else do we have in here? Oh, we got a Land Rover, um, a GP car. It is beautiful. It is gray. Um, the BMW 507 white. Now, this is much better than the one that I said I regretted buying because of the windshield in the interior seating color. Uh, but very, very similar cars. One's a BMW, one's a Stingray. But um, little white convertibles. Uh, I didn't. I didn't need it. Um, and then this one, I bought it because El Segundo. That is the place where Mattel's headquarters are, and it is almost a solid color chrome car. But to tell you the truth, I don't love this car. Uh, I do like when they put the dot on the car, though because it is a minimal deco, um, an extra Barbie Corvette going into the screen time. <laughs> oh, we got a redeco of the 507. Solid color convertibles, like kind of a nice car. Maybe there's no regrets. Maybe I have to open it.
another silver convertible. It's a beauty. Um, silver chrome seats, which is silly, but kind of cool. <sighs> With the right color windshield, again. Wait, that's the Stingray, it's a redeco. But from a different year. Yeah, it's two different years. You can see that the card is different from the series, so it doesn't have the white up in the corner there. And uh, it's also ones from a factory fresh, and one is a Roadsters. So, mm, I didn't need them. These two, very matchbox, but a little more deco. But again, classic, really cool retro cars. They are the only ones that I kept from the 80s series, or the only ones that I got from the 80s series. And then a utilitarian truck that is more of like a Mattel car. It looks like that it's a, a giant delivery truck filled with these boxes, which, you know, gets me really excited. So I have to put this stuff away. I have to figure it out. There's something weird going on here too because one of the newer cars that I bought was this Land Rover, which again, it is a GPR car, but I did get it in Army Green. Where did I put that away? Uh, so it seems I have other new cars or maybe, you know, oh, I opened it. I opened it during Christmas. This is my Christmas opening. Did I? It's, it's not in my Christmas bucket. I opened up all of the, I guess, more colorful ones. Hmm. I don't see it in here either. Oh, here it is. It's right on top. So it must have been one of the ones that I opened right before Christmas. Uh, the Army Green Deco is incredible. The surfboard. <sighs> this. If I, if I lived in uh, Hawaii or LA, this is what I would, what I would ride. All right, so that's cool too. And I'm also really super cool. This is one of the newer ones. This one was also in the F case. No. Yeah, the guy, well, the guy said it was the F cases. The new ones that are in stores now at Walmart in Canada. Uh, I'm really, I'm really interested to open this and see how it rolls. It's really cool. It's the same on both sides, but it flips. Um, that is really cool. Oh, look, it shows you its features. Awesomeness. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We've got lots of upcoming videos of me opening some of these sets. I'm going to be very, very careful and not buy so much. I also have to organize them. And uh, maybe we'll do like a whole screen time collection and an experimenters collection. If I haven't made those videos already, I might have. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon the next Wednesday if you only like cars.